let's say you find yourself in a situation where you need to create, oh, pretty quickly something like uh, maybe a honeycomb pattern. Here's how you can do it in Illustrator. Uh, a honeycomb is basically a, uh, a series of hexagons uh, placed together. So to do that, I'm going to go to my polygon tool. And I've already got my stroke and my fill selected that I want for the honeycomb colors. I click here once and it gives me the radius. I have six sides, that's a hexagon. I'm going to take this down uh, fairly small, something like about 0.15 inches. Okay, we can see that's real tiny. Zoom in to see it a little bit better. And now what I'm going to do is start turning this using my uh, transform. So click onto the uh, direct selection tool. I'm going to transform this so that it's straight up and down. I'm going to put a guide in here just to see if I've got, yeah, I've got that pretty straight. Okay, so that's one of them. Now all I need to do is duplicate this several times. So with the item selected, I hold down the option key on the Mac and click and drag, and I put one here. And I'm going to slide it into place. And now I'm going to do that again. a little bit smaller. We've got to make a, a few of these to create the pattern. And if you have your guides on, it should snap to the guides automatically. Click to see that everything's lining up the way it should. That's a little better. Okay. Just, just a few more. We don't need to create the entire pattern because if you remember from one of our tutorials, we can save this pattern as a swatch. Let's do one more here. And one down here. Okay, so that's the start. All right, now I'm going to, uh, let's clear these guides real quickly. I'm going to set some new guides in here that will define the pattern area that we're going to repeat. So I want them to be is right in the middle. Those are the vertical guides. Here are the horizontal guides. Okay. Now what I want to do is make a rectangle on top of these guides. And the rectangle, the rectangle should have the darker color as stroke and no fill. So we're just going to switch this and then delete the fill. So now we've got the darker color as the stroke for the rectangle. Okay. Now what we want to do is select everything. And then we're going to go to our uh, Shape Builder tool right here. And with the Option key pressed down to subtract, we're going to subtract the areas outside that rectangle that we made. All right. Now let's group that, object group, and then we're going to drag it over into our swatch panel. Create a new swatch with that. Okay, now we'll zoom out, move this off to the side, clear our guides, and let's see if we can make a pattern here. To make the pattern, all we have to do is go to our rectangle tool, going to turn off the stroke and fill and draw a rectangle over the entire area that we want to fill with the pattern then go to our swatch palette let's have 
fill up front, go to our swatch palette, select our pattern, and there it is. Good luck.